Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for tuning into my first video for creating Microsoft Paint. I was just like thinking about like ideas for my project and I came across like, you know something that would be so cool if we could recreate something like scribble.io, something like this where you can like basically draw and then have like, I was like, dang, I feel like if I just use like state to store the, the colors and then if I have like an on click event or like a hold down event, then I can definitely like recreate this, right? Like an eraser is just like the white marker. Um, so I was just like, oh, just thoughts like that just got me motivated to like try this out. So with my current knowledge, um, I just figured having two components, main components, one as a header, which contains like tools, for example, the bucket, the eraser and the brush, the size of the brush and eraser as well like if you click down and then also the colors so if you like here we hopefully like i can have these two components where one is like the container where you draw i don't know about if i can get this working first i just want to get the standard brush on this container if i can draw something and if i do an eraser tool i'll just um erase this out yeah, and the colors, I can just have like different color boxes that if I click on it, it'll just have a different color. Yeah, let's start. Let's see how much we can get done in maybe like, we'll set a 15 minute timer. Okay, cool. The first thing is I wanna create the two components. So we have the app.js and as of now, it's just displaying the header and an image of a screenshot that I took of paint. Let's create header, or we'll, we'll call it tools.js. Um, within the tools component, I want to also have three more components. Let's name this items.js. Let's have a the pencil emoji, I guess, icon. We can copy this in. We'll put this in as a P as of now. Oh man, what can I use instead of a bucket? Okay, we'll use this as a bucket. <laughs> Sorry that it's a bowl. And then the last one is um, the eraser. So we got to export this. Let's import the items from that. And then in the app, let's display the tools. Oh, what is this? Oh, oops. I didn't put it inside. Yes. Oh, oops. Oh, here we go. So we can have it as like a button actually. Button. Button say this ooh where did our pencil go oh right here okay i guess we can break this is that a break here yeah sorry my coding skills are so bad so please excuse my inefficiency um let's see if i can bring the image style uh, size a bit down okay cool so I want, actually, I want this on top. Let's bring this, let's work, work our way down. I'm so lost. So we have the tools on the left-hand side. Add this in a div, maybe. Now we don't need these. Let's do like, What I did was I just created a little box with the three tools, the pencil, the bucket, and the erasers. I wonder if, yeah, we, we want to have the colors on the tools as well, right? So we have the items. We want the colors. I'll make a new component for that. Now the next question is getting the colors to layout. So what I'm thinking is we might need to create a JSON file or create a data structure that has all the colors. 
I guess like we're gonna map through an array of colors. So by doing that, we can have an on click for each card or container. So I guess I'll type this out. So need a database full of colors. Map through the data array of colors. Display each color inside its own color card. So color card, what I mean is just like each of these boxes. Box, and then add a declare a state for color chosen in the colors container. So I guess I should rename this to color container. So video number one, I got up to, let's see, let me do this real quick. Yeah, that's like the first video. I didn't really get much today. Thanks for tuning in to guys.